Hey, YouTube, how's it going? We are on Sao Neptune with a level 12 Banshee. And that's a nice stealth kill. Uh, and I have not even potatoed the Cerno, so this is going to be a lot of fun. Um, yeah. See, so uh, what I've been trying to do here is, I've tried this a couple times already, and I want to show you that it's possible to go to the highest level spy mission. This is in this case, the highest level Corpus spy mission. And be able to get three hex on all the data vaults, no even without up, even without high level gear on, you attacks, know. So here I've got a low level warframe banshee, just barely have ulti on her. And the only thing I've got I've got some sort of stealthy weapons, but you know you can get stealthy weapons at base level. Because the only thing you really need you really need is you really need the ability to kill security cameras without alerting nearby enemies. And you need something that's. Deals enough damage one shot corpus decks for your melee. That's all. But pretty much any melee weapon can one shot someone with stealth attack. So here's what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna do each of these rooms in the absolute most secure way possible. Because the last couple times I've had problems where this and this is this is one where there's basically only one way to do it, usually on upper levels. See, the last couple levels I've had problems where I try and take shortcuts, and then because I take shortcuts, I have enemies coming at me, and then I set up alarms, and bad things happen because I'm not tanky enough to take a bunch of enemies. I'm a 300-300 with no armor on a level 30 enemy mission, so we're going to do these all the absolute stealthiest way. I took Shade, because Shade will help me hack stuff if I set up alarms, and that is not available, but it looks like that way is available, so that may be easier. And trying to get all the way through that set of lasers. So this this level is tricky because you actually cannot help but walk through lasers most of the time. However, there is an upper path that a lot of people don't know about that helps get through things. Hopefully, okay, good. Shade didn't set off the alarms there. Every so often, you r you sit, run your sentinel straight through those lasers, and then you're really sad. All right, so see, there's this path here. I'm gonna try and take that. Oh, yes, made it. Okay. Ah, uh, crouch, jump, 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 slide, jump techniques, you know. So now, this puts us out here, but we don't want to go there, because we can just take this little path and drop straight down. And it's open! Yes! And see, now we've gotten into this level without alerting any enemies, or even opening the door. And not opening the door is useful, because then you don't have a bunch of people coming after you. Like that. Dude, 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 there. A clean Whatever you call him. It's no probably a Null Scrambus or a Sap Combo or some sort of hyphenated enemy. Oh, hang on. Hang on, we gotta press the pointless button. Pointless button. Okay. So that's a good path. That's a good extra path to know about. Sometimes you can actually even take that, that upper level route I was trying. Get out of here, Sapping Osprey. Oh jeez, that's bad. Where'd he go? That's a dude you do not want to mess with if you don't have, if you can't help it. Skate dudes, I guess is what I, you can call them. They're the skaters. Got them both, didn't I? Yeah. It's always annoying when you accidentally take them in with you. Get out of here. Oh, I wish I. Put some toxin damage to this weapon. Tox you put toxin damage on a base DPS weapon like this, and you just literally wreck Corpus as you go. Oh well, well. Okay, so here's where Shade. Not having mean, just wasted its. Not having mean, just wasted its. This ability would have been really useful. Oh, thank you. Please, no. Anyways, stop shooting at things if you don't know they're there. Gosh, how stupid Moa are you? Shooting at things even though I don't know that there's anything there. Okay. See, see, now here's here's what I say. Okay. So maybe maybe I will I will make a claim to fame that the shade you can destroy any spy mission without being detected. And wait a minute. It's right. It's right at this this is one of the early ones. You have to go to the left. Left level mission because they take away some of your tools if you try and go to the right. Okay, so now there are there are cameras in every room. On both floors. See so you. Oh! 
That's annoying. Oh, that's more annoying. Okay, that that's the most annoying of all, actually. He knows I'm in here. Okay, so I'm gonna try going back to the right then. I just bump into him. You know, enemies know if you bump into them. I'm gonna try this. Mr. What's his face? I know it's looking at me. Oh, is this gonna get me there? Nope. Well, how on earth am I supposed to get over there? The upper floor. Are they just expecting me to jump today? You know what? We're just gonna have to go all pro, and this is why this is the point where having a fast warframe helps, because every so often there's a mistake in how they construct these things. There literally is no way to do it other than just that. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that security camera there because I think Shade is gonna keep me. Yeah, because there's a security camera there, and Shade is gonna keep me. Visible while I hack. Cool. Sweet. Got another one undetected. This is this is going better, peeps. This is going better. Going better. I guess I don't say I don't say peeps. I just say I just say bros. Let's face it. Not like bro fresco. Nope. Uh, Oxygen last break probably one shot me at this level. Those. I don't. Okay. So. To DE and all the other people who work on developing Warframe, Oxium Ospreys have too much hit points and too much damage when they commit suicide. Okay. There's only two peoples. I'll actually kill them, even though I could just stand here and be invisible with shade. What's he doing? Is this guy doing like a sideways mamba? Hello? One thing that's good about the Orthos is it's got such a long attack range you can quite literally attack people through doors and walls. Come on, baby. Alright, so it says it this way. Yeah, so I turned off a bunch of my I turned down a bunch of my graphics settings. Because because I've been having troubles with this game. Oh, I did it again. This game, I've been having troubles with this game. Lagging. Oh! Oh my god, are they really just going to spam damage all over the place? Because the Moas and Moas do that. Fantastic. Breach complete. We're free to proceed. Can you see, and here I was just saying the range of the Orthos was awesome, but there, because it had so much range, I accidentally broke open a window, so... A few times when it's okay to have a shorter range melee weapon. Oh, this one, console. okay. So this Check one, we're going to do this the safe the way. So, oh, I, they changed it. Alright, come on! Oh, I missed it! Dang, 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 dang. Okay, so you always... You always want to start by going into this little room here, and as you can see, it always changes which one's open and which one isn't. So let's see. So not only there's a corpus tech walking around. There he is over there. Okay, so we can get a stealth kill on him. I think it's easier. Careful not to bump into him. There he goes! Oh, okay. Alright. Stealthy. Stealthy. Don't try and go through any lasers. You don't have to. So we are going to solve the puzzle. I don't want to have to... I don't want to have to deal with all the people that might come and get me if I spring the traps down below. Because... Oh! Try that again. Anyway, yeah. So I, I've tried doing this a couple different ways. And even though it takes a heck of a lot longer, if you're going to... I'm trying to prove that it's possible to do this with a squishy warframe. And if you're going to do this with a squishy warframe, you should always come through the top. There we go. Because when you come through the top, you can 
toggle off your run. And you can just solve this little puzzle with all the lasers. And as so long as you don't hit a laser. Okay, so it looks like there's a gap to my back left over there, and there's a gap to my front right then. Back left. Front right. So I'm gonna go right now. Oh, that was close. Almost hit, hit it with shade. Don't worry about people seeing you through here. I know it's possible for enemies to see you through the walls. But you usually don't have to worry about that because they usually don't look through the walls. Okay, so it looks like this is called Corners Open. Corners Closed. Corners Open. Ah. Oh. Okay, now I'm going to have to actually jump straight through the middle to get this. This one's the hard one. Uh, oh, yes! Okay. See, it's a really hard laser puzzle, but it's doable. Okay, and you always solve the outside ones first. And then you just kind of spin the thing in the middle to match whatever it's supposed to do. And I just got three extractions without setting off alarms. Woo! This is going on YouTube, people. Peace. Ugh. Okay, and there we go. All right, so now we just have to get out of the level, and we are good. To, we are good to go for this demo. Ah, level 12 banshee with the shade. That's all you need. That's all you need, peeps. All you need, bros. All you need, whatever's. Warframe's to know. We've got robots inbound. We've got robots inbound. Woo! Ah, there we go. That's. If you, have, if you actually don't play Shade, I highly recommend it. It gives you so many, so much kiting potential. And let's get some more affinity. Nope. Stupid MOA. I think it's MOA call. The war. MOA call. Alright. End this mission. Peace out.